Hello and welcome back guys. We are back in World of Warcraft and we will be talking about add-ons again. Specifically about weak aura. So I got positive feedback on my last couple of videos, how I talked and show stuff. So I decided to make also a few videos about how to create your own small but informative little weak auras. And maybe you will get inspired by them, you can copy the same that I have, and just or adjust them for yourself. We will be talking about everything there is to talk about. So today we'll be talking about something I created yesterday for my own. And this is this one here, this little progress bar, but just with icons. You can see I got my Rage, my Berserker King here right here, and it's moving on this bar from the very right to the very left. And you can see it's got a three minute of cool, total cooldown. It says cool remaining one minute now, it's about a third, so we got the 100% here and a 0% here. Um, I also added this for my Frost Nova, for my Living Flame, for my Fire Blast. And if you look closely at a specific remaining duration, you can see the seconds. You can adjust that, we will be talking about that in a moment. You can add your own spells, you can do quite a bunch of stuff, we will be talking about that in a moment. So I'm going to switch to my Warlock and then I'm going to show you how to do that all by yourself. Okay, here we are, my Priest and my Warlock. My Warlock actually has only one spell that has a cooldown except the racial. So we are my Priest, um, I got three spells with a uh, cooldown, so we we'll just work with that. So, alright, we are opening Weak Aura. And first thing I will do is see the icon progress, this is my Weak Aura group for my cooldowns. You can see my Fire Blast, we don't need that. Just gonna open that. I'm gonna duplicate that at first. Uh, no, let's don't, let's don't, let's don't, let's don't, let's don't. Um, just for organization purposes, maybe make a group for um, the same stuff for multiple characters, like cooldown I can progress, I got the mermaid stuff. So I'm going to open another group, I'll call that Priest, I can progress. And then we just compare that, like right here I have like this cooldown background bar. I want that to have on my freeze as well. I could just duplicate it, but you don't have uh, a template, so we just do it together. Um, I've put the bar, oh, let's just go with that. We make a new cat texture. Yeah, that's, that's crap, we don't. I keep doing that. We make a new progress bar in that case. I'm going at CB back bar priest. Uh, I might just copy all the stuff. It's 400 pixel wide. Um, depending on the screen size, as you can see, I'm on a 21 to 9 screen, so I got a bit more space. Uh, but depending on your screen size, you can adjust that value. So I'm going to with 400. I got a two height. And then f what I will do is delete both text because we don't need them, which is a background bar. Putting out the black, background color, black and full transparency. And to have it be shown all the time, I am going to trigger. Go to player unit info. Unit characteristics. Unit is unit. Player. Basically, all it does is show the bar all the time. Your unit called player is the unit called player. And since that is always true, I'm going to have it that way. So I'm just comparing again, minus 220. No, there we go. All right, so we got a little bar in the background. And now we won't have to uh, have icons on it, right? So what we are about to do is we're clicking on the group or on the background bar, new aura, and we're going with the progress bar. Have it like rename it your way. Let's go, which is like um, powered shield C uh, CD. Let's enlarge it a bit. First, first thing I'm going to do is go to trigger. We want to have trigger on a spell with cooldown and charge discount. And then we need the spell or the spell ID. I really recommend losing a spell ID and you can easily get a hack on that with a little add-on, let me just show you, that's called ID tip. 
all it does is if you look at my tooltip at the lower uh, the right bottom underneath the information text you can see spell id and icon id it's just like the unique identifier of this very own spell and the icon which will become in handy in a moment all right so we have in the trigger here we need a spell, a name, or an ID. So I'm just going to go with the ID. It's 17. It's a low ID, actually. And you can see if you pre uh, type in a 17, it automatically gets registered as the power word shield. So what this trick actually does is if I press my shield now, you can see I'm having the cooldown of 6 seconds uh, here. Or is it five, 4 seconds? And whatever it's in cooldown, right now, I know I cannot because of the debuff. But if I just shield someone, I can only shield party members, can I? Yes. But this trigger actually displays the remaining cooldown. But we don't want a bar, right? We want the icon on our bar. So what we are about to do is go to back to display, go to bar color, make it transparent. We don't need it. Go down, delete the text, delete the text. And then the most important thing, again, background color, we don't need that. We need to show the spark. You can see this little thing wandering around. Like if I press thing again, this is my cooldown right now. But that doesn't say us anything, right? That's why we need a spark texture. Delete that. Go back to your spell. You can see the icon ID, 135940. There we go. I'm adjusting the width and the height to 32. Then you can see the icon, but it's still glowing, right? That's a blend mode. So we're changing that to opaque. And as you can see here, it's not not even transparent. It's, it's looking quite good, but the travel distance is quite short. So we go into the position settings, that's the bar. And remember we have the black bar at the back, the black background bar set to 400. We're doing the same, 400. Going with the same Y offset, minus 220. And if I press six now, you can see it's wandering from the right to the left. What you want to do is move the bar on the top of your group so it's actually in the background. Because the more things are on the like, if things are on the bottom, they get loaded on top of the other things. So if I press six now, you can see it's above, the, like on top of the bar. Okay, what you want to do now is, um, if you want to be shown the cooldown on the icon itself, you're adding text again, going with percent %p. Oh, oops, I'm on the, on the bar. You're adding text again. <laughs> Present P, and you can see there is the cooldown timer, right? Uh, what I'm about to do is uh, change the numbers and to full, like, no decimal numbers. But the most important thing in that case is the anchors. Where is the text attached to? So we're going with center, and there you can choose spark. And if you look now closely, you can see it's actually all the time inside the icon. Maybe increase the size a bit. Maybe play around with the outline. You could even like choose a different font. In my case, I like this Diablo-ish font. And there you go. You have your little own progress bar. A cooldown. What you could do, what I did on the other thing, on my mage, I'm putting conditions like if I have a very long cooldown for let's say three minutes, I do not want to have like a cooldown of 180 seconds on it. So I will go to conditions, go to remaining duration. Let's say I want to have it shown on 15 seconds, like, like on the last 15 seconds of a cooldown. Smaller than, let's go with 16. And on your, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? There. On text color, you can make it always transparent so you can't see it. 
but if the duration is below 16 seconds, you can go with text one, color, and just leave it like that if you're fine with the white color. And I'm doing the same again with remaining durations. Let's go with lower than six seconds. And on the last six seconds, like last five seconds, I want the text to be shown as red. So if I press six now again, you can see it's starting already with a red color because it's below six seconds. So let's do the same again, duplicate the stuff for, let's say, with penance. And the same for my ratio. So we have a few stuff to be shown. Um, the forsaken CD. Uh, remember, if you are about to duplicate the stuff, you need to adjust to the, the, the new IDs, right? So let's go back to trigger for penance. We got 402174. Same goes for the icon. You can just leave it like that, just collapse it. Same for here. And right here with the new texture, we go to penance 237545. The same for Wood of the Forsaken, 136187. Trigger is 7744. So in theory, everything should be working like it did just before with the Power Word Shield. So this card, Wood of the Forsaken, you can see it's starting very slowly because we got a two minute cooldown on the right without any numbers. If I cast Penance, it's starting at 12 seconds with the right color and now it should turn red. Splendid. The same goes for the shield. As I've shown you, you can adjust the remaining duration, the cooldown gets shown in the conditions. You can adjust the bar settings um, in like in here, like how long the cooldown bar actually is. Um, but you should work with the group itself. So for example, um, if you say, yeah, 400 is a bit too much for me, but I've already created all the cooldowns. You can just go in here, go to pushes and settings. And since we all got progress bars, the settings here work for the other. So if I go with like, let's say, I don't know, a thousand, everything gets to a thousand, every little bar. I mean, I don't know if you want to use that. I mean, there are, might be some add-ons um, you could use that um, as yeah, some situations, pardon, pardon me, I could go with like 200 if that's fine for you. We could also use, for example, if we say, yeah, I want to have a, a known bar for my cooldowns. Let's say, for example, as a mage, uh, I have want to have a own bar for my icy veins and for my mirror images, maybe for my frozen orb. You can set the bar just for them and then set another bar for your minor cooldowns, either like Blizzard or something. Like I said, um, just duplicate the aura once you um, created one for the cooldowns. Oops. Um, remember to have your trigger on unit as unit player, so your bar is always there. If you want to change something, change it globally on your group. I want to put it back to 400 before I forget it. Um, yeah, if you duplicate something, be sure to change the spell icon, uh, spell ID and the icon ID. Download ID tip. It's a very, very handy tool for stuff like that. One thing you can do, but I, th I don't think you have to, but you could do, I forgot to add that, is you can adjust the load conditions. For example, if I'm on my mage now, my mage cooldowns will get loaded at least. It will check if the, these are on cooldown and the priest ones, but I don't want that. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not that heavy for load, but it's just something for, let's say, it's just prettier to do it like that. So I'm gonna go to my priest group and go to load, check player class and just go to priest. So whenever I'm a mage, this group doesn't get loaded. Um, this prevents in the way I build it that my background bars stack on top of each other that might get thicker maybe. I haven't really tested it. You could prevent that by having it globally, like just like that, for example, for every class. You could do it like that, just ignore that for a moment, that your 
background bars always get slow with it and you just track your cooldowns of your class i'm sorry you know what that actually makes the more the most sense let's just go like that because why do i need a background bar for every class right it's still there and if i go to my mage it should also be there Blum, blum, blum. It's not. We will check that. Because I still got a priest. That's what I was talking about. If you uncheck that twice, it's there. And yes, this also works in retail. So there is nothing really more to add. Now you are able to create your very own cooldown bar just with icons of your decide spells so thanks for stopping by guys i hope i was able to help you with that and until the next time when i will talk about another week aura as you might have seen on my classic character i've got a few i've got a few he which i already talked about in the last videos so like always if there is anything you want me to talk about some add-ons or any specific weak aura you have in your mind just let me know even feedback criticism is always welcome and until then i'd say stay safe good luck with weak auras and all the add-ons good luck have fun in the world of warcraft and bye bye guys